More classified documents have now been found, this time in former Vice President Mike Pence's home in Indiana. One of the Pence's lawyers made that discovery and handed the documents over to the FBI. The agency and the Department of Justice have now launched a review on the situation. Well, that story, as we know, comes just days after the FBI conducted a planned search of President Joe Biden's private home, where they uncovered six additional classified materials. That 13-hour search happened Friday at the president's Delaware home. They say the documents are from his time serving under the Obama administration and when he served in the Senate. In total, 25 to 30 documents have now been found. Last week, the president said he is cooperating with federal authorities, but now top GOP lawmakers are demanding more information about the documents. And joining us to discuss these latest discoveries is KUSI political contributor Tom Delbacaro. Tom, thanks for coming in studio tonight. Great to see you all. Well, let's talk about the uh, overall, I guess, reaction now to Pence, but also what this means. Three different investigations, Trump, Pence, Biden. And there should be one of Obama as well. He has millions of documents, and there's probably some there. So maybe we turn this into a soap opera as the confidential information turns. The big beneficiary of this politically is Trump. Because now it looks like everybody does it, and it's not a big deal for him. The problem for Biden, though, is serious in the sense that Hunter Biden has an email looking like it quoted directly from confidential information. Mm. And that's really what this is all about, keeping information safe. But it helps Biden that Pence has them as well. It certainly has been a, a developing, like you said, almost reading like a soap opera. When it comes to what the GOP is asking for, wanting more transparency, or at least wanting to see what exactly is being found, what are your thoughts there, and do you think they're going to get their way? Well, first of all, it was ludicrous that Biden's attorney was handling a crime scene and reporting it to the police, literally. But it, apparently it's gotten so bad that they've now decided we can't let this go on, and now they're looking at different places. So it looks like Biden's made many mistakes, at the very least, in this regard, if not committed a crime. The issue becomes the, the Republicans want the information because they don't trust the DOJ because, quite frankly, they're not trustable or trustworthy. So they want the information. They want to make political hay of it. But it's really about Hunter Biden. Did he have access to it? Did he quote from it? And that would be a serious crime. When do you think we will hear any development on that front? And will we hear that until maybe the investigation is complete? Which could take months on end. Uh, I think for the Democrats' sake, they'll actually want it by the end of the year because they'll want this out of the way. Either Biden goes forward and goes to Iowa or he doesn't. They don't want the, him to get renominated and have this blow apart. So I think even the Democrats will push for a resolution this year. And we have heard Democrats even speaking out about their concerns over the latest discoveries and developments. Who do you think had access to President Biden's home in the last, I mean, what would this be, six plus years? Even, even uh, Joe Manchin had visited there. Uh, Chuck Schumer had visited there. That's the problem. They don't really know. And having it in a garage, that could mean the, uh, the gardener had access. It could, it could mean anything. You, you saw Hunter driving the car. And, and that's really, again, I'll ha I can't emphasize this enough. There's a very coherent email from Hunter Biden that reads like a confidential briefing to overseas people. So he clearly did. And so the Republicans think they have something here. They probably do. But Mike... Pence sort of lifts the steam out of it a little bit by having some of his own because Mike said he didn't and an it turns out and nobody's Kate asked Mayor. Obama if he does. Well and that's interesting too that we haven't heard if there's a search being conducted purely because again this just looks like a trend. What are you watching for in the days and the weeks ahead uh, as we see this kind of uh, evolve? I think this otherwise gets pushed under the rug unless the Republicans get the information out of the DOJ that they want and then maybe they can shed better light, like Twitter has, on so many issues. Let's see if the Republicans get it. If they don't, I think the DOJ buries this, and it really doesn't go anywhere. But they may still keep after Trump, because they've become so politicized. I think, again, we, it's fascinating to see bipartisan people on both sides stepping up and asking questions and saying that answers are needed. All right, Tom Delvacaro in, in the studio for us tonight. We appreciate it. Great seeing everyone.